I'm an explorer. We will go interdimensional. We will unlock the secrets of the universe. God has laid them out like Christmas presents for his children. How's it going folks, Jack here, and the Helldivers 2 fun continues, as Maxwell has dropped what I can only suppose is yet another certified hood classic with his Helldivers 2 video. And you know what, I'm, I'm just very happy with Arrowhead at the moment, I'm watching this as we got the Craig back, uh, the automatons and the bugs are back in strength, so thank you so much Joel. And it's just a fun game, one that proves, like others before that the live service model can be executed well and not made predatory. Now that said, let us not tarry too much and dive straight into the reaction. This video contains uh, many certifiable thought crimes. Helldivers 2 is an amazing co-op shooter that plays exactly like No Man's Sky, except <laughs> no. instead of exploring the cosmos, you uh, die horribly in the psalm. Every copy of Helldivers 2 is a uh, it is personalized. Joel wanted me to fight 10,000 fire ants. In a universe where humanity is beset on all sides by curious wildlife and the actual Terminators, Super Earth, the galaxy's last and only bastion of managed democracy, sends its finest men, women, and children over seven to liberate and spread freedom to the most horrifying hellscapes known to man, where war crimes are not only justified, the necessity. Necessary. We play as yes. the Helldivers, humanity's finest in emancipation and friendly fire incidents. But uh, there's no need to worry about that last one because we are incredibly expendable. All across the galaxy. Everybody's getting that Tony Stark experience where he was hit by his own rocket. That last frame was basically like, consideration, the Jericho. Liberty's enemies march ever closer, but through the power of teamwork, friendship, and 500 kilogram bombs, we will fight for freedom, for democracy, and most importantly, because it's really funny. Dudes be like, Helldivers 2 is military propaganda. My brother uh, and Christ, it worked. Triple the defense budget. Apologies, one thing, gotta check something here. What do we have? First, like and description below. Featuring the original song from... Oh, Jonathan Music! Isn't he the uh, One Punch Man guy? Yep, yep he is. And to the people saying that Helldivers 2 is military propaganda and even political, duh! I mean, it's as obvious as a freaking polar bear in the fucking Sahara. You are literally playing a game that satirizes starship troopers, which in turn satirizes the whole ultra-militaristic state that is literally a fascist faction that are the bad guys. And by the way, before anybody starts calling me out, because I, uh, I've seen some comments on uh, some Warhammer videos whenever the term fascist gets used to, let's say, describe the Imperium, it doesn't mean Nazi, okay? I do apologize for my tone or my choice in vernacular, but some people are really, really annoying when they do not understand the etymology of certain words. Fascio, bundle of sticks, is a whole thing about a prior... prior... <laughs> I can't say the word anymore. Prioritization of collectivism over individualism. The Romans made use of it, the Italian used that later on with Benito Suagalini as he turned it into fascismo in 1914. The literal insignia is an eagle holding a bundle of stick, ape together strong. Now that being said, I apologize for turning this into a freaking TED talk, but just because totalitarianism and authoritarianism are tools that are used under fascism doesn't mean that they are necessary part of the damn thing. However, with time we have seen, just like many other words out there, that this has been co-opted by other movements that have turned this into what it is today. Where the term is much more affiliated to a conform or else mentality, that is conforming to a superior subgroup within the collective, which of course turns it totalitarian and said group is trying to maintain state power and push the ideology of said state 
on to the rest of the populace through any means necessary, turning it authoritarian. Just as the bugs whose home world we are using as our fuel, or the angry toasters that we keep on nuking. So, as a final point before I move on to the actual reaction, I'm sorry about this. You can very much do what I did here. Some of the last vestiges of the politics that you learn in high school and go full-blown analysis mode and start talking about this stuff, but you don't have to. Nor should you even do that, because the subtleties and the subtext that I put here are simply to enhance the subtlety of this game. It's not Bioshock Infinite nor Metal Gear Revengeance where subtleties for the weak. The first thing you'll notice upon entering the SES Judge of Judgment is the incredibly stupid name. And yes, you are able to name it other things using the Wizard 101 naming scheme. Things like the Pride of Pride, Star of the Stars, Patriot of patriotism, <laughs> and my personal favorite, the founding father of family values, because wow. this game has a lot of violence in movies. Wow, that's a cold back to a joke that he hasn't used in ages. Oh, here you see me depicted as the Soy Wojak. The <laughs> second thing you'll notice upon entering the bridge is the ongoing galactic war, and that we are currently fucking losing the galactic war, which is why we need to suit up with exactly three of our friends and choose which planet is in vital need of the democratic process. If you don't have any friends, then uh, I hope you can speak good Mandarin. I think I did something to make him mad. But to win the Galactic War, we must first understand the Galactic War. We can ill afford- <laughs> Mr. Well White. Which is why I'm going to go over each of the two fronts that are currently reducing us to smears across the galaxy. Ooh. And uh, I'm going to do it at difficulty 7 or above, which is coincidentally the perfect enlistment age. On the left-turn side of the political spectrum, we have the Automaton Front, an enemy focusing on range tactics, heavy armor in slight excess, and an extremely high amount of explosive ordnance. Oh, I'll be here, guys, later. <laughs> Look at the dreadnought. Intimidating? Then don't worry. I haven't even gotten to the horde of angry chainsaws yet. Chainsaw Man reference goes in the video here. But talking about the Automaton Front is never complete without talking about the fucking creek or as it is known by our honored veterans space vietnam <laughs> this goddamn planet has been single-handedly responsible for most of our casualties <laughs> my leg is this spongebob and that is genuinely impressive considering that uh 10 million men have already died in the battle of the madagascar lemur those are considered rookie numbers and we're already outpacing the taiping rebellion in fact, every single military operation we conduct is in a some way related to Malevolon Creek. And personally, I don't really see what all the hype is about. After all, it's just one planet. How important could one planet possibly be? Very important. I am a human supremacist! I am a human supremacist! I'm an explorer! Hold on this planet! I am a human! We will unlock the secrets of the universe. God has laid them out like Christmas presents for his children. Okay. Look, I know that the man is absolutely out of pocket and is an absolute monster, but for the sake of the memes, okay? And if Helldivers ever gets a chance of being modded through private service or whatever, I would love to hear his voice over radio. At least a voice actor of his. Like, even in this scenario here, through the tutorials, when you keep on getting killed. I know I did. Like, the guy being over there saying that you're supposed to be a pioneer, you're an explorer, you're human, human, and you're I'm coming. <laughs> That would be so much fun. I want Alex Jones at boot camp now. It's got fucking weird recently. <laughs> Malevolon Creek, and by extension, the rest of the front, is essentially an exercise in how much PTSD one man can possibly get. Their firepower is so overwhelming, so absolutely constant, that describing it as an endless retreat where you accidentally accomplish all of your objectives would be very generous, as it implies that I do the objectives. Fucking shit. <laughs> this can occasionally... Which, by the way, means that this game is not a horror shooter, okay? It's an actual extraction shooter. If we were to be nitpicky about this. We push you into what we call a unfortunate tactical positions. At which point, your main options for survival are going to be uh, watching your slower friends get burned to death in the make off. <laughs> I will never unhear that scream. So yes, this planet may be what economists call a bad use of our human capital. But after dealing with several days of what I can only describe as 
Angry forklift decommissioning. Oh shit, this motherfucker's not OSHA certified. You really need a step ladder for that, sir. Okay, call me crazy, but I think there's a turret around this corner, guys. I fucking hate the creek. I can safely say that the attachment has become fucking personal. And honestly, I just want to see how many bodies one planet can hold. We lost Vietnam. We lost Afghanistan. And yes, we definitely lost America. So goddammit, I am not going to lose this shit to ones and zeros. God gave this galaxy to a non-binary species. And service <laughs> guarantees gender affirmation. Uh, fun facts about the bot front. Number 10. Man urinates on fellow passenger for not being allowed to smoke. Number 9. If you happen to make the mistake of fighting here, you're quickly going to realize that most of our forces are Chinese. Each one takes- <laughs> Wait, how the hell does it keep on ending on Chinese servers? Glorious revenge against the steel plants they work in. Very auspicious uh, behavior. And Wolf conversely, Frank. we Guilo have been sent by our barbarian prince to fight the hordes of angry roaches. For it is the god-given right of the defense lobby to remind the bugs that it is man who is made in God's image. Really can't wait to die on fucking, uh, t legally distinct Clendathu. <laughs> the Terminid Front, sorry, the terminated population problem is a wide assortment of increasingly horrifying demons, each one abandoned by their creators in completely different ways. Uh, my, my guy has got a bad case of the rigor mortis. <laughs> We've got small bugs, big bugs, immortal bugs, bugs that function as artillery. I mean, it's actually clever that they went with that way of uh, making the bug disappear. It looks goofy as hell, but I mean, it's effective. Imagine if they constantly had to keep on rendering all the things lying on the ground that would be wild which by the way okay is the one thing that i always wish that my hardware gets used to i want to be able to render a mongolian amount of entities or characters npc whatever on screen that's what the power of my gpu is supposed to be used for and of course the bugs that stalk you at night thankfully for us though napalm is an equal opportunity employer and uh a lot of positions are open right now that is to say, once you start fighting the bugs, you do not stop for about 40 minutes or so. Because, uh, they just spawned a battalion from the ground like the goddamn Viet Cong for the third time in a row. And I do not have enough raid for this shit. Oh. Good fucking throw, dude. I, I just want to walk to the McDonald's, guys. I'm just a level one goblin. It's literally my birthday. I'm a little birthday boy. And do you want to know the worst part about this war? We, uh, don't really know how they move between planets. And I don't think they have what you would call a plan. Rather, the Terminids simply appear in places they wish to eviscerate. Yeah. Kind of like a Whole Foods. So, uh... <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> ...appear in places they wish to eviscerate. Kind of like a Whole Foods. It's a cultural wasteland. I, I, I'm not gonna make any assumptions here because I do not know. I've actually never visited a Whole Food, but to my understanding, from what I've seen in actual shows, it, a, a joke tends to be that where a Whole Food is open, there's like a lot of gentrification. So I guess they're doing something to the inhabitants of whatever place it gets. Uh, Put in. Please, in the comment section, let me know the uh, deeper end goings of a Whole Foods because, from what I know so far, it's like I hopped uh, uh, Spirit Airline and freaking uh, what was the one with the Tekken that I ma literally made a video on. Waffle House are places where people are brawling all the time. So, if Whole Foods is anything like that, it might enter my Hall of Fame of uh, places that I wish to visit when I visit the US. So, uh, you can imagine my shock when I learned that those white bitches. We're trying to gentrify the moon. They are ruining the amazing okay. local culture of, uh, California. It is gentrification. Got it. I hope it's becoming obvious that fighting these things under normal circumstances is what we call, uh, same-day shipping to God. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Fortunately for us, though, we have access to a wide variety of unique and hilarious tools which are only accessible by inputting a series of hand signs, informally known as Dance 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 Revolution. Jutsu. Whether it's big airstrikes. Airstrikes is awesome, dude. It is the equivalent of post not clarity. If post not clarity meant that your friends also died in the black... Uh, okay, no, that was not a good joke. No, it's actually kind of gross. Sorry. Bigger airstrikes. Biggest airstrike the engine can sustain, or airstrikes that specialize in killing 
everything except the enemy. There are so many bad guys with so much damage to be done that the most challenging part is keeping your team out of the blast radius. I got 500 kilogram ready. What have you fucking done? And yes, you do have to throw them, which means you can drop them, throw the wrong asset, and even attach them to enemies that are running into you. My personal favorite combination is definitely the napalm and chlorine gas for when you really, really want your enemies to feel pain. Inside and out. We also offer a gluten-free variety. Now, of course, airstrikes aren't the only thing we can deliver, just most of them, because here at the Defense Department, we take care to provide, to, to provide, to provide, why can't I say words? A wide array of support tools, and by support tools, I mean the machine gun, which are crucial and necessary for fighting a, ah! literally anything. We've got flamethrowers, jetpacks, automatic lasers that demand human sacrifice, <laughs> average American police taser with unlimited ammo, automatic targeting, and a vendetta against teammates for when you really hate everything in a general direction, <laughs> railguns that encourage you to fire volleys like Napoleonic line infantry. It wow. also has two fire modes called safe mode and do unsafe not, mode. Do not, do not ever do that. And of course, the, uh, Giant death robots that randomly explode sometimes. Yay. <laughs> what? That is the last time I buy a fucking Tesla. <laughs> My uh, personal favorite strategy involves everyone giving their mechs to the designated disabled man who will proceed to stay inside of six different wheelchairs for 40 minutes. And as a caveat, we force him to crawl on the ground between mechs for immersion reasons. <laughs> but honestly, all of these fantastic tools absolutely pale in comparison to the fast and convenient resupply of GamerSup's energy drinks. Wow. Here to give you a fantastic boost to your gaming abilities, which, if you want to win this battle, I will now expect of you. We in the Chinese are not going to be taking back Osto 2 on eight hours of sleep, <laughs> but uh, they did also release a sleep aid in case somebody gives you too much energy. <laughs> How am I getting Whoa. away with this shit? Gamersups comes in many different flavors, such as Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000, Grandpa's Ashes, and, uh, good. It's, a, uh, it's just good. Correct. All at the low price of 40 cents per stratagem, which is literally cheaper than the dirt I am dying over. I, uh, went to Amazon and checked. So if you are still... <laughs> I remember there were, uh incidences during I mean, was it during the 2016 election it, it's not directly that but it's just that because trump had some uh, golf courses i think in scotland and because people were very infuriating uh, infuriated by his behavior over there they were actually selling some of the soil on amazon and that sold like outlandishly fast watching this video somehow and uh god bless you if you are you can have gamer subs delivered with 10 percent off by opening the description and clicking the special stratagem code what else do we have uh, uh we have sentry guns in case you really don't want to play the game as well as a strange amount of primaries that are child safe can't wait for the devs to nerf this one and say some shit like, Sorry, Helldivers. Command sent us Rigatoni instead of Railgun shells. <laughs> now, uh, in this kind of environment with this many fireworks, casualties are not just expected. They are required. You, uh, don't really get to 12 million by being an easy game, which is why, upon the occurrence of my teammate's tragic passing, I will... Fuck, man, 12 million players. Look. The game is literally GJ Khaled right now, suffering from success. I like how in the beginning, they, they literally came forth, the devs were like, Guys, I know that you like the game, we appreciate it, but listen, stop downloading our game. <laughs> that literally never happens. I'll gain the ability to replace my friends with a legally distinct Helldiver, ready to fight and die for the worst planets you have ever seen. Like my brother in Christ, you are fighting over the Arizona Ice Tea world. Missions in this game are usually comprised of exploring new and fantastic worlds, and then building a Walmart supercenter on them. Local residents be damned. To that end, we have a great diversity of missions, like geological surveys, rescuing civilians who move their heads like confused avians. <laughs> He's like the chicken! Spreading industrial amounts of carcinogenic gas and launching the fucking nuclear missile. 
We did it, Patrick. We saved Istanu, <laughs> along with a myriad of side objectives, which usually boil down to, uh, killing everything that moves. And occasionally, loading a gun that will do it for you. We, uh, don't really talk about the Eradicate missions because they tend to play themselves. <laughs> yeah. All in service to liberate a planet by an astounding 0 .0003%. At the time. <laughs> this isn't a fucking charity, all right? Reach 100% liberation and lose all of it the very next day. I am currently reporting to you from the fifth Siege of Helldiver. Planets in Helldivers also have a unique blend of beautiful environments, like the Heaven Planet, where it is impossible to escape God's light. The Constant Meteor Storm Planet, where it is illegal to stand still. You can backpedal. You don't need to look at the sun. <laughs> the fire tornado planet. The uh, weird fucking animal planet. I'm going to call you a uh, Genghis Shingles Ringer. And the planet that, before it was removed from the game, randomized your airstrikes, which made the process of calling a huh. resupply much more interesting. Please put this back in the game. Look, Helldivers is a game that gives you a lot of tools, and a lot of places to use them. So honestly, the task of describing it all to you is, uh, not my fucking job. The yeah. developers are literally adding things faster than I can show them to you. I, uh, began making this video before mechs existed. So inevitably, when the day comes that Arrowhead adds the secret third faction that we don't legally know anything about, I guess I'll be making a video about legally. it. Legally. As long as this one gets views. Overall, Helldivers 2 is an absolute chaotic mess, where every mission begins and ends with the assumption that we are not going to make it. And yet, somehow, some way, I still find a way to disappoint my friends. Some may consider it difficult, while others may consider it fucking bullshit. But personally, surviving against all odds in the face of complete, absolute absurdity is a big reason that I still love this game. No matter how many game-breaking bugs they introduce. <laughs> uh, sorry, Helldivers. This gun's accuracy rating is so high that it causes integer overflow. And with the Galactic War still ongoing, our story of spreading managed democracy has only just begun. We have the ships. We have the weapons. We need soldiers. Soldiers like the uh, angry Chinese guy. Service guarantees affordable health care. They'll keep fighting, and they'll win. As long as the bug front plays the game today. On a more personal note, the Ministry of Truth extends its gratitude to all of its very kind patrons, enabling and financing our propaganda on a truly galactic scale. Your money is being put to excellent use, making only the funniest and most original content. Anyways, uh, time to report to my execution now. Wow. Look, I am going to tell my children that between 1955 and 75, we were fighting giant bugs and automatons for oil in Southeast Asia. And when they will be asking me, Dad, are you high? I will answer, yes, but only a little bit on that liberty. <laughs> Look, uh, this video was amazing. Um, Lighter on the editing on Maxwell's part. He has done that in past videos and obviously I think that he will be focusing some other efforts on something else. I do assume that he does that because of the nature of the game. It's uh, kind of difficult to go a bit too crazy with Helldivers 2. Also because it's an online game trying to find new camera angles and create things that are a bit more creative is not exactly available for you to do less you want to be banned but still an awesome one that i highly recommend that you go and like if you haven't already on his channel and of course like this video if you liked it but that being said we shall have a wonderful day see you guys in the next one bye